playing field, but so are the people that we're trying to um, combat against also have a level playing field. Is there any evidence that that's occurring at this point? Absolutely. That, that they are shopping? Absolutely. So if I understand the tactical risk, you might identify an individual that constitutes a terrorist threat or a threat relating to serious crime. You might then be seeking to do pattern of life analysis about that individual, looking back at who they've spoken to and what other potential links there might be. But telecommunications company X might keep that data for 12 months, two years, whatever the time may be. But other people within that network with another provider, they might only keep it for six months. So you get an incomplete picture of those links that you're trying to establish. Is that the tactical risk that you're describing? That's right. If I was to, if I was, if I picked any major investigation that we do at the moment, and I gave you a massive link chart here of all the links between the ISPs, um, the um, the SIM cards, those in real names, those in fake names, those are the, the IMI numbers and the phones put in, etc. I'd be able to do a big link diagram. A component of it, there would be gaps because I would not be able to go any further because there would not be any information if it went to one provider as opposed to another. If I was to draw that exact same chart in five years' time, it would be significantly smaller because there would be less and less data. And if there's less and less data, there's less and less links. And it's the links that are absolutely vital to any criminal investigation. Because the worst thing is your unknowns. And we've had terrorism investigations in the past, in particular um, Operation Neath, which we've referred to before, that but for the use of metadata and the exploitation of metadata, so not the content which we got later on under warrant, but the exploitation of metadata, we would not have been able to get the links to actually get uh, to identify the offenders who are going to perpetrate those acts. And that's a terrorist incident, but it happens, as um, Mr Dawson said, every single serious organised crime investigation that we're doing around the country. Now, I can talk about what the AFP does, and you we've done 23,000 of 25,000 odd requests for metadata. That's a small proportion of what us and the state police, are, what the state police are doing, and they're investigating. So, if, if you think we get contracted by not having access to it, imagine what the state police would be able to do: investigating yeah. homicides, kidnappings, extortions, armed robberies, all those sort of things. Not just drug trafficking and uh, child exploitation material and, C and CT matters. It would be devastating for law enforcement. Send us back to the dark ages. Thanks, Deputy Commissioner. On, on, on the data set uh, point, if I understand the way the bill and the regs work, uh, there are seven categories of data that industry is, is obliged uh, to retain, and they are specifically set out in the legislation. But the regulations then provide that greater technical specificity, specificity relating to those things that are set out, um, but only within those seven categories. Uh, so I'm interested in your uh, in your response then to criticism that um, mm. uh, by virtue of the regulations, uh, this somehow creates a carte blanche situation about what may or may not be accessed um, uh, in, in the future. Could, could you talk a little bit more about how that structure works? Mm. So the structure you've outlined is correct. What the bill does is to prescribe uh, certain classes that may be the subject of uh, regulations to set out the detail of the, the data elements mm. to be retained. There are uh, six categories six. Uh, in, the, in the bill, and so their broad categories are uh, information about the subscriber of accounts, information about the source of a communication, the destination of a communication, date, time and duration of a communication, type of communication or relevant service used, and uh, the location of equipment used in connection with a communication. So what that does in the bill is to clearly limit the classes of information that may be kept, uh, and then uh, uh, the regulations may be used to prescribe in uh, uh, greater uh, detail the range of identifiers uh, that would need to be kept to support uh, those particular uh, classes of information. Thank you.